So we've done lots of videos on remapping the engine and we've seen the terrific benefits you can get just by changing the parameters inside the computer in the engine. People have been asking about gearboxes and gearbox remapping. So a lot of people don't really realize that the modern gearbox is computer controlled. You as a driver, if you have a stick shift or manual car, you are making lots of decisions every time you change gear. The point at which you change gear, depending on whether you want to accelerate quickly or you're driving as economically as possible, if you're a more advanced driver, you'll be looking to match the revs so the engine speed and transmission speed are the same when the gear engages. So on upshift, you will want to decrease the RPM slightly. And on downshift, you would want to blip the throttle and just raise the RPM slightly just to enable that smooth gear change. <laughs> So with an electronic managed gearbox, it's doing most of those decisions for you. So you've got to bear in mind that the modern gearbox is a very complex animal. It's continually learning from the way you drive, from the way your engine is performing. So a lot of people who've had the gearbox reset, maybe they've had work done on the car and everything's been switched off and reset to the factory standard. It will take a little while to pick up the shift patterns that are most optimal for your car. So a lot of people have noted that shifts can be quite clunky, quite slow, unresponsive, or um, it might do unexpected things. So just give it a little bit of time to settle. Now, when it comes to remapping the gearbox, you're actually looking to optimize all of those shift points. So the more modern your gearbox is, the more work it is doing, the more sensor information it's got to work from, the more complex its program. A lot of cars now come with not just a kick down sport mode, but they come with a whole variety of settings and eco mode. Some even have launch control that maximizes your launch for those drag strips and drag races that you might want to be doing. So the gearbox itself will generally wait a little bit for the clutch system inside the gearbox to engage and for the engine RPMs to match whatever the transmission speed is. You can speed up that delay and you can experience much quicker gear shift in a modern gearbox where you've got paddle shift you can dramatically improve the response of those paddle shifters just by optimizing the ECU settings so the gearbox can respond a little more quickly. So also in a lot of cases, you might want to change the shift point. So for more sporty driving, you might want it to hang on to the lower gears a little bit longer and just push it a little bit harder. You might want to disable some of the protection that's built into your modern gearbox. Even in manual mode, it's changing up when it feels it needs to. So you can maybe cause it to become a little less paranoid and enjoy the benefits of those lower gears and faster acceleration. So the ECU is taking into account the speed of the vehicle, the load, the throttle position, the previous speed load throttle position, how fast you've pressed the throttle, how much throttle movement has happened since it last looked and last checked. And it will actually try and anticipate your needs. So it can be there changing gear pretty much at the point you decide you need it. And it's just picked up on all these different sensors that have come back to give it the information it needs to make the proper calculations. So getting your gearbox remapped will give you lots of different benefits. These would include smoother gear shifts, improved acceleration, shorter responses to gear changes, whether it's through the gear stick selector or through a paddle shift arrangement. It can reduce power loss in the transmission just by changing up the shift points and making sure that the transmission engages as quickly as it possibly can. And you can change the points at which it will shift in the RPM range. And it can also factor in the driving conditions. Are you accelerating hard? Are you wanting maximum performance? Are you just driving for economy? So is it worth doing? Well, most people will look at the 0 to 60 time and how much that improves when you've had the gearbox remapped. But in my book, that's rather crude. That's not giving you the whole picture. It's certainly a benchmark, but most cars will do 0 to 60 in just one or two gears. So you're not actually building up a very good picture on how effective the gear changes are. You will experience an improvement in your day-to-day -day drive. When you go to overtake something, when you hit a hill, for example, and you just need to drop down a gear, all of those things make the car much more enjoyable to drive, a much more pleasant driving experience, but it won't dramatically reduce the 0 to 60 time. So with a lot of enhancements that you do to your car, you're not going after big power figures, top speeds, super acceleration. You're improving its flexibility in day-to-day -day situations, and that will go a long way to improve your driver enjoyment. So would I recommend you just go out and remap a gearbox on its own? 
Well, there certainly are merits for doing that, but why not also optimize the ECU itself and just make sure your engine is putting out as much power as possible. So you've got the complete package because I bet that if you had the gearbox mapped and you like the improved throttle response and the improvements you see, you'll then be going back and getting an engine remap done at the same time. It's funny, we think we're driving our cars, but now so much is electronically controlled and electronically governed. You used to move your accelerator pedal, which would directly control the throttle on the engine and dump more air and fuel into it. But nowadays with drive-by-wire systems, you press the throttle and a signal goes to the ECU and then it interprets that signal and it does lots of stuff to make the car go. So generally manufacturers set things to be very, very conservative, very safe. They don't want people experiencing lots of wheel spin. They certainly don't appreciate that drivers are going to be wanting track-like performance from their engines. One of my big annoyances with modern cars is the left foot braking. As soon as you touch the brake pedal now, the accelerator input is cut. So you lose all of the advantage of left foot braking in cornering. So with clever ECU adjustments and ECU management, gearbox mapping, ECU mapping, you can eliminate a lot of these protections that manufacturers have built into the engine to protect the car from idiot drivers. And we'll just assume that you're a professional driver who knows what they doing and you don't need all of these safety systems and you deliberately want to exploit the handling characteristics of a car that will be somewhat more wild than maybe what you're used to. So I hope this uh, video has cleared up some of the misconceptions and myths around gearbox remapping. It's helped you to have an, a realistic expectation of what to get, what the benefits are from remapping your gearbox. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.